Well, are you ready to defy a prophecy? As ready as I will ever be. Good. I'll give you a moment to get changed. And to secure the God Killer. I will keep it hidden until I am ready to strike at Lilith. It's their world now, you know. Deep down, they're not half bad, humans. Lilith showed me that much. Now you speak fondly of my mother? No, I speak truthfully. The best way we can honor your mother's memory is to destroy the monster she has become. Never forget that. Then what are we waiting for? You, actually. It's time. Still amazed by this thing. I prefer silver for killing monsters, but this gold looks like Oh god, shiny. I better not get a rash from this. Sure we can't up the fire on mine? I wonder if there's time to add some cloaks. You did all this? I mean, not all, all. A lot, but it was a team effort and a good idea. Not even mine. I thought it would be a nice touch. For our first apocalypse together. Like a very wise young woman once said, we are the Midnight Suns. A family. And family is family. Yeah. So this time? We all got your back. Stowing the gates of an impregnable temple. Facing the mother of demons and gods know what unimaginable horrors inside. Yes. Only now. We'll all be doing it in style. Speaking of which, your turn, boss. Now, who wants to go save the world? I never wanted to live to see this day, Hunter. The Order of the Midnight Suns, risen again. My own kin returned from beyond the Veil. Never on my own could I have united such a disparate band of warriors. You did that, Hunter. Before you go, do not count on any more resurrections. These moments are all that remain before the prophecy is either fulfilled or ended once and for all. If there is anything you wish to say to any of us, now is the time. We've come a long way, haven't we, Hunter? You could say that. I'm glad that you finally know the truth, kiddo. Especially going into this fight. It will not make things any easier. But you understand now that your mother, Lilith, was not a monster. Everything she did, she did out of love for you. But... In the time since, she has done so much to hurt so many. I want you to forgive her, Hunter. With everything you know now, it shouldn't be that hard to accept. Just as I am about to face her? It may be more important now than ever. She does deserve forgiveness. I'm relieved to hear you say that, Hunter. But there is something else? I might rest easy if you forgave me, too. But I know that's asking a lot, considering everything that's happened. Of course you are forgiven. You're a better person than I am, Hunter. Thank you for understanding. And now? When you get back, we'll talk more about your mother. It's important you know the person she was before. I would like that. If you get nothing else from this, just know that I love you, kiddo. And I'll be with you, watching. You can do this, Hunter. I know you can. Hello, child. Or should I say goodbye? Oh, Agatha. 
I have this feeling at the bottom of my stomach, twisting my insides. That's called fear. I feel like such a coward. You're only a coward if you run away. But you're not going to. If you feel lost out there, listen to their voices to guide you back. Lost? Voices? Agatha, what are you talking about? Just listen to them. They will remind you of who you are. Who I am? Goodbye, dear. And remember, death isn't the end. It's just a beginning in dark disguise. We made it this far. You ready to see it through? As best I can. I have no doubt it'll be your best. Whatever comes next is not fate, destiny, or prophecy. It's where you led us. This was a team effort, Steve. No need for modesty. I get it. I'm uncomfortable with praise as well. But I mean it. Best get a move on. Nothing else to say? The time for fancy speeches is over. Now, we get the job done. Hulk ready to battle! We did not have time to get to know one another well, but I am still honored to enter this battle at your side. Hulk not have words, so Hulk say excited to crush demons to pulp! That is the kind of attitude I like to hear. Hulk not interested in more blah blah blah! This boring! Bring on bad guys! Right, well, let us get on with it. Hulk not like letters. Blah. After all the ancient books I've studied, it feels so odd to be standing here and know that I may be in the final chapter of my own story. I cannot say how that would feel. It's uncanny, really, and to be with you to share this moment... Is there something wrong? You've given me such confidence in myself, and yet I know so little about you, it's impossible to return the favor. I have not been lurking around the Abbey trying to keep things from you, if that is what you are worried about. No, that's not it at all. It's... It's hard to put this feeling into words. You helped me regain clarity about my place in this world, so maybe it's my confidence that's causing me to see things that aren't really there. It is possible. Confidence can become quite intoxicating. I feel we have so much more to discuss. The day grows long, and every moment is precious, Strange. This conversation isn't over. It's merely paused until a quieter time presents itself. Until then, the battle awaits. So, this is it, huh? End of the world? All of us riding into the big showdown like it's the OK Corral? I do not know what you are talking about. It doesn't matter. Listen, um... I find this kind of thing easier if I have something to look forward to after. So when we finish putting your mother down, no offense, then it's cookout time at Casa Stark. Let's make Strange bring the hot dogs. As long as they're from this dimension. I cannot remember the last time I was not worried about something. If we do succeed, then a party would be wonderful. I'll put you on the guest list then. Don't worry, we'll keep it small. 300 tops. Well, I do not want to hinder your party planning any further, so I think... Actually, there is one thing. I wanted to say thanks for giving me a peek behind the magical veil, so to speak. I still don't trust those rabbits coming out of top hats, but you really helped with the rest of it. You are a good man, Tony. I am honored to fight alongside you. I'm a pretty cool boss, too. At least that's what they tell me. I will have to take your word for that. Well, all right then. We're not going to accomplish anything by standing around here gabbing. Let's go save the world. 
again. Hunter, waiting for the light to turn chartreuse? I do not understand what a green light has to do with this. Never mind. Let's go show an elder god its place in the universe. Before we go... Got something to get off your chest, Hunter? Neither Cathan nor Lilith had seen a display of your power from beyond the stars. Oh, how I hoped someone would egg me on about going binary. Rest assured, Hunter. I'll make sure to give you a call out on comm so you don't miss the celestial fireworks. Well, I suppose this is our last breath before plunging into battle. Nothing is assured, so before we go, it's my turn to speak. It's finally time to confront your family issues. Before we do this saving the world thing, I'm not very good at this. Being vulnerable with you, well, it's been the highlight of this prophecy-busting experience. No matter what happens, I'll carry our friendship forward, to the stars or beyond. It has been my honor to know you. That settles it then. Ready to bring Cathan down? I sure am. May the stars sing of our victory. Ooh, chills. Gotta remember that one. It's inspiring. Just warning you, I'm not really one for sappy goodbyes. No? Nah, it's a waste of time. Big hugs, back slaps, couple tears. If we're going out fighting, I'd rather get in a couple of laughs first. Your new uniform does not wash easily. Do not fill your farting crackers at the sight of Lilith, and all will be well. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> farting crackers? Yes, farting crackers. Breeches. Trousers. Huh? Trust that this would have been a very funny joke 300 years ago. You know, Hunter, I just want to say thanks. After everything we gabbed about, I think you really started to rearrange my thinking about life. Every day counts, my friend. It is not the quantity, but the quality. I've had the quantity. Glad to know the quality. We should probably move along. Right. Enough chit-chat. Let's go save the world. Okay, so it's go time, huh? We totally have this in the bag, right? To claim victory is guaranteed only ensures that one feels defeat. Right, but you're like a god-killing, mother-thwarting machine. And you've done this before. Your faith in me, Peter Parker, gives me extra courage. More than courage, we have each other. I always dreamt of being an Avenger. But now... I'm psyched to be a part of the Midnight Suns. I do not believe Cuthon counted on all of us teaming up and working together. So, before we go and commit heavily premeditated deicide, I gotta say something. I've been cheating at video games with Robbie. My spider sense just enhances the reflexes. Kinda hard to turn it off. I don't know why I need to say this now, before the end of the world, but let it be known. On the battlefield, I shall relay this to Robbie. Although, I guess Robbie cheats at video games too. With Sparky around, he's always playing co op. Alright, I'm ready to go. You're ready to go. Let's go. And we shall, Spider Man. Midnight Suns for life! Is this really it? Are we ready for this? Are you? I have to be, don't I? I've spent too much of the past year letting people down. That isn't who I am. But it would calm my nerves if I heard it from someone else. The team has never been more ready. And Wanda, you are its beating heart. I do not think you can do this. I know you can. Wow. My nerves are calmed and my face is tingling. <laughs> or I'm blushing? Oh, I'm so pumped, I can't even tell. Ready or not, we are actually going through with this. But I have no regrets, Hunter. 
That's entirely because of you. No matter how difficult the journey, our friendship brought me back to myself. I'm not who I was before, Agatha, but you helped me make peace with who I am. I am glad to hear that, Wanda. Well, any final advice? Do not forget to breathe. <sighs> All right. I'm ready to have words with your mother. So, this is it, huh? It appears so. I, uh, just wanted a moment to talk to you, you know, just in case we, uh, never get a chance to again. I would be lying if I said I did not harbor the same fears. Right? Just look around. I mean, this could be the last time we're ever together. I've just gotten used to our weird little family, and I'm, I'm not sure I want to lose it. And you're the biggest part of that. You brought this team together in a way I couldn't. I have a ton of respect for that, Hunter. So, you know, don't die. Nico, you were the first to treat me as a person, not just some ancient weapon. Well, yeah, that's because you're awesome. I just thought you needed a friend. But you did so much more than that. I may lead the Midnight Suns, but you were the team's heart. Hunter, you do not get to make me cry in front of Tony Stark. I'm so sorry. It's fine. I'm fine. Just kind of caught me off guard is all. You know, we're still going to hang out when all this is done, right? See? Now you have a reason to win. <laughs> okay. You convinced me. Well, I guess it's time. I'll see you on the other side, Hunter. Can you smell it? Smell what? Chaos and uncertainty. It saturates the air. This is your favorite part, is it not? The excitement of not knowing how this will all end? You know me well. Almost better than anyone. I know this could be the last time we get to have a real conversation, so... I just wanted to say that if it comes down to it out there, if we... die, it would be an honor to do it by your side. Oh, Elyon. Let's not get emotional about this. I would be honored to die by your side. Dying is not the best outcome. You do know the plan, yes? I know the plan. Good, because I was making my last post to Superlink, just in case. Well, it's almost time. Ileana. No. No goodbyes. See you out there, Hunter. I like this suit. I should have written a will or something. You know, like a responsible adult. Who would receive your earthly possessions? Ileana gets my comic books. She'll say she hates them, but she sneaks into my room and reads every new issue. Peter gets my favorite controller that I, uh, tuned a bit. Not to cheat, just to make the rumble feel more authentic. I'd give you the hell ride, but Gabe should keep it. Maybe he'll look at it and remember how much his brother loved him. <sighs> like he needs more tragedy in his life. Ravi, what is wrong? I'm not the kind of guy who comes back from something like this, Hunter. I don't really mind it. We're, we're doing something that matters here. But Gabe? He deserves more than this. Robbie, I am counting on you to survive this. Okay, sure. But why? Because you need to introduce me to Gabe. You cannot do it if you are dead. <laughs> I don't think it's that easy. Listen up. I need you to keep him safe. Of course I'll keep Gabe safe. 
I was talking to Sparky. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll introduce you after. I promise. I will hold you to that. So, uh, we're doing this? For real? Then let's hit the road. Whatever's on the other side of that portal, this isn't goodbye. That kind of talk trips you up. If you already think you'll lose the battle, no point in fighting it. I'm glad someone else understands. Why does it feel like you're messing with me? I'm not messing with you. I don't buy it. You think this is a big moment, don't you? Fine. If you have something to get off your chest, say it. Whatever helps you shake the jitters loose. It sounds like you have something to say to me. <sighs> this isn't easy for me, but I rarely do easy, so here goes. You better come back, or I'll kick your ass. You worry I will not come back? Nah, we resurrected you once. I'm sure we could do it again, but let's not make it a habit. Understood. However this ends, what we do today matters. Carry that with you, Hunter. I will. Thanks, Blade. Uh, you can call me Eric. Thanks, Eric. <sighs> Regretting this already. I will see if I can find you a treat later. Oh, you waited for me, girl. You waited so long. Just, just wait a little longer, okay? Okay? I love you, Charlie girl. I have to do this alone. I need you to be a good girl and protect Sarah and the Abbey for me while I am gone. You have waited for me before. Now all you have to do is wait a little bit longer. Can you do that for me, girl? Oh, that is what I thought. Do not worry. I will not be gone for long. Promise. gates were forged by the gods billions of years before humanity took its first breath. All the combined armies on Earth could not... And we're in. Yeah, way over our heads. End this forever! What do you think I am trying to do? I did not come here to freak it up. I came to destroy him. More lies from his herald. If that were the case, you would be dead already. You surprised me, beloved one. Coming so far, yet still so blind. Shackled by your precious caretaker. Tell him no! You have no idea! But I do. Be free, my child. And embrace your true self. Pick up your weapon. The final battle is almost upon us. No. It is over already. Lost your child when you gave them to us as our vessel.
vessel. We owe you, demon mother. This foul trinket was our final obstacle. The moment is here, and all the pieces in their proper place. It begins with sacrifice. his plan, his wider ambition. Kassan's corruptive influence has weakened the hunter's mind to the breaking point. My child, I have failed you. vision is born through the eyes of countless followers. Every whispered prayer for my dark gift bringing us closer. Your words are meaningless here, Kathan. I know the hunter would rather die than serve as the path to your reawakening. You may be descended of the blood, but pride will not carry you to victory this time, witch. Hear me. Please, please. That looked like it hurt. I just hope I'm not too late. I'll leave.
haven't changed. You can still break this vault. You must fight. You will hesitate to hold We will never fear another again. Then we'll just have to knock some sense into them before that can happen. Interesting tactic. Thank you. 
children will join us soon. Consider it done. trouble you are in, friend. Answer for this. There is no Time is short.
pardon for this. Come this far, Hunter. Together, there is nothing you can't do. It is your true destiny, Hunter. Show no mercy. You will show weak for this fight.
was a time in their territory that would have forbidden that sort of thing. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago.
had hoped for a challenge. Still the prize. Hope they're ready. So that was something. Roger that.
that's just mine. Some for the rest of us. There can be no resistance. You had your chance. Your suffering will be immeasurable. Sandwich.
That's some move. begins. Do not stand a chance. Make this quick. The strongest was no match for us. Their best was still not enough for us. Both when you cured me centuries ago. 
We belong to that book as much as him now. forget just how beautiful that can be. I never do. Just wish everyone was here to see it. Well, a giant wall of light did just teleport us back here from the crossroads of creation to our own little pocket dimension localized here in the sunny suburbs of Massachusetts. Fairly certain anything's possible at this point. the Ancient Ones never believed we'd actually survive the prophecy. I could consult the records of the Vishanti once the city approves the Sanctum's rebuilding permit. Lilith and the Hunter's Bomb defied death before. Defied Cathan. Prophecy or not, I know this story is far from over. Amateurs. Amateurs. 